Hey everyone, this is my first video. Um, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to install TeamViewer 4. Um, if you guys like this and you comment, uh, I can show you how to use it and get the best out of it. Uh, TeamViewer 4 is a uh, support system uh, software that you can use to help anyone out, um, like I'm using it for my family. Um, and I go on, you can go into their computer and actually have control of their computer, uh, install or uninstall whatever you need to do and then get out. It's all legal and they know what is happening to their computer because they can see it. It's not hacking. Um, so what you're going to do is go to your internet browser. Uh, mine is Internet Explorer. Um, you're going to, once this loads, go to your browser, right here, your address bar, and type in teamviewer.com. Um, this is the website. You're going to go to the download tab over here. And we're going to scroll and this is the Mac button. I don't have a Mac, I have a PC, so you're going to download the PC. Click download. Run. Now for this, um, you do need to install it on both computers that you're going to be using. You're both yours, if you're the host, and the person that you're trying to support. Uh, click run. That's the only way this will work. I tried it the other way and then realized and I was kind of disappointed, so I just made sure I wanted to tell you. Um, install. Um, you can also click Run if you do not want the information stored on your computer. Um, it's kind of this Run is a one-time deal, and you'd have to keep doing it. So I'm going to install it on my computer because I will use it a lot. Next, then you want to continue. This is I'm using Vista, so this might come up, might not on yours. Um, it's a personal, non-commercial use. Hit next, and then this is your agreement thing. You just accept both of them. Check the boxes down here, then click next over here. Um, if you are the host, do normal insta installation, the default. If you are installing it on the support person, or if you're installing it and you are trying to be uh, supported by someone else, click start automatically with Windows. It's a lot easier. Um, and then enter a password and then give the host the password. So click next and next again. That was just a full installation. I'm doing a full. And then finish. And I'm going to minimize my browser. Computer's a bit laggy for some reason. Um, so this is what will come up. This is the team viewer. Um, this is your ID your password and then this is the ID of the person that you will support um, if you are the person that is waiting for someone to help you don't have to enter anything in here they'll do it for you um, so uh, thanks for watching if you liked what you saw then uh, subscribe to me and comment and if you guys want uh, I'll make another video on how to use it get the best out of it thanks